In today's video, we're actually going to talk about file management. So what do we mean by file management? So how many times have you actually come back from a shoot? Maybe you're in a rush or maybe you just do it because it's what you're used to. You get your images, dump them on your laptop, desktop, whatever, desktop, downloads, pictures, whatever. You just create a quick folder, not organized properly, not named properly and left it where it is. And then maybe when it comes to editing, you sometimes forget where they are. If you've got a couple of shoots going on and you, you, you know, you might forget where things have been saved, where the default save locations might be, etc. So this can actually help you resolve all those scenarios. It's simple. What I recommend is getting a dedicated hard drive, starting off even with a small one, it doesn't matter. So if anything does go wrong, you've got images somewhere that are safe, okay? So we're starting off with one hard drive. We'll come up, we'll talk about backup in just a minute. So on this hard drive, we're gonna create two folders. One folder is raw, one folder is live. What did this mean? So. The raw folder is going to have all the unedited, untouched images or video that come out straight from the camera and they get stored over here. So let's have a look at an example. In the raw folder, we're going to name a project. And the way I do it is chronologically. So I do it by year, a month, date, and then the project file. This normally helps me find them where they are quicker. Within that folder, I will then have a few more further folders. So in the photography situation, I will have raw images that's usually all that is in my raw folder and that's that's what sits there when i'm doing video here i might have a few more folders so with video i'm normally doing audio just like this i will have the video folder where all the files are i sometimes might have an effects folder if i've got any effects that i might want to use in this i might also have a images folder if i'm using any images for this if i'm using sound like i'm doing in this video i will put that in this folder as well the live folder is just a little bit different it works like this so same scenario you've got the live folder you've got the project Within that project now, you'll have a few things depending on what you're working on. So let's start with photography. With photography, I'm mostly working with Photoshop. I rarely work with Lightroom. But if I'm working with Lightroom, here I will have my exports um, and the list with the JPEGs, either high res or low res, depending on the project. They will go straight in here. If I'm working with Photoshop, I will have a PSD folder because I do save all of my PSDs in case I need to come back to them in the future. I might need to reprint something or send something to a different printer so I can open up the, full, uh, the file, uh, uh, apply any um, color profiles, printing profiles on there, resave it and off you go. So all my PSDs are stored in here. Yes, they do take up a lot of hard drive space, but this is where I like to have big hard drives, a lot of hard drives and backups as well. Moving on, I have another folder called web. The web is just a smaller sized image. Usually I scale them down to 1920 by 1280 at 150 uh, DPI. And this I will use on the internet or social media. They will have my logo on them. The website ones are just the same size. They just don't have my logo and they go on my website. Sometimes here I may have a print folder where I will put high resolution print files ready. They will normally be saved as JPEGs ready for whenever I need it. In this case, I haven't got anything so I'm not going to create a folder. So now as you can see, this is nice and simple. But I'm not going to forget the video side of things. So the video live folder looks something like this. I will have a project file. So this is similar to the PSD file, but the project could be anything. So if I'm working in After Effects, Adobe Edition or Premiere Pro, the project file will go here. The next one is exports. So everything I'm exporting from the, the project will go into this folder. Then from here, I may have um, sounds and effects again that have been worked on. They get saved here. So there isn't a lot more that goes on here because I like to keep it fairly simple fairly fairly straight to the point i know exactly where everything is and that is how the structure stays now a really important factor that i don't want you to forget but try to do this as much as you can when you have your external hard drives try to back up somewhere it could be a cloud backup it could be a local backup it could be a backup on a different hard drive which is what i recommend for two reasons one if your hard drive goes bust, you have an exact copy, duplicate of that hard drive, which you can carry on working on, using on. If you've got clients work on there, you'll probably be doing this already anyway. But if you're not, it's good habit to do this. Hard drives are not very expensive. You can start with the terabyte. I think you can find them on Amazon for about 40, 50 quid. Uh, I leave a link in the comment section below, which you can use. The links that I will use here are affiliate links, which means that if you click on them and buy something, it costs you exactly the same price, but it also gives me just a little bit of money to help this channel to give you great content 
and to move forward so if you are liking all my content so far please do consider subscribing click on that bell notification for further updates so you can be informed when new videos are coming out so that is it nice and short simple guys once again if you enjoyed the content do consider subscribing i will see you guys in the next video stay happy keep smiling see you soon bye